prehistoric fish. Its fin runs all the way down. Real strong fish. They feel just like a snake almost. Scales are real tough. Well, I don't know what to do here. That's what fishing's all about. Sometimes crazy things happen on the bank. It's all good fun. early this afternoon these bowfin used to not catch very many of them but they've come pretty become pretty predominant and they're real good fighters real cool fish prehistoric fish a lot of people don't have good comments about them but I figure they're probably supposed to be here or they wouldn't be you can see in their mouth they're really effective uh, killing machine. Here's our teeth. Got big teeth and look at that turquoise tongue. Turquoise around the mouth. Real pretty fish. You know what? That fish has got my line in it down its throat from last night's fishing trip and I just caught it on a jig head. It got a big gnarled mess in the net. Okay, so it ate what was probably a bluegill last night we kept having fights early on with bluegill and we're missing them and it very well could have been those bowfin there's what i caught the fish on and here's my line from last night broke off unfortunately he's got it down his throat i don't think i can get it without doing harm so you can see look how cool this got little barbels on its nose Real cool fish. Pretty good sized one. Probably 16, 18, maybe even 20 inches long. I don't know what to do here. You don't want to get here. You don't want to get your hand down there because as you can see those teeth. He's got rows of teeth. Real good fight. There's the hook. It's coming out. Look, that's my amazing fishing hook. He's regurgitated that bluegill tail from last night. Both my hooks are in it. This was the setup I had, had a run, lost a fish. I broke off and fished that way. There it is. It was a shrimp. It was an amazing fishing garlic shrimp. I had it on two stinger hooks, amazing fishing hooks, and a big garlic shrimp. Caught it on that, and last night, it took that and I broke off. Amazing, that is amazing. So the fish has regurgitated it and we're gonna let it go. He deserves life after that. 20 some years ago when I caught one of these, I very seldom caught them and nobody even knew what it was. So, it's cool though man. That was cool, that whole deal. That's what fishing's all about. Sometimes crazy things happen on the bank. It's all good fun. Let it go. I switched things out, just went to one single hook with two night crawlers on it, one split shot. Doesn't get any easier than that. Another bow pad. That's a big one. They must just be stacked up out there. I couldn't really say if they're stacked up out there eating eggs, of other fish, or what they're doing. That's a pretty healthy looking fish. One little single hook. Two night crawlers, one split shot. I mean, I gotta tell you, I've just caught thousands of fish over the years on 
real simple setup and rig and the situation is you fish in a hole you can see the fast current goes through there and then this creates a big eddy well this eddy is just full of structure trees rocks and uh where i'm throwing my bait is right out there i like to call it a slip and it's where the fast current meets the eddy and right there will be a drop off and i like to cast there and maybe reel in a couple turns there's always fish laying on it and there's always a good variety or assortment of fish today just seems to be both and on those came out of the snag there's big boulders and trees laying out there and once you get them hooked you gotta try to hold that rod tip high and keep the line up as tight as you can to try to keep them out of those snags sometimes it works sometimes it don't you never know strong fish done real well today about an hour's time that's a champ, but now bow fin, I think. Second bow fin. Nice small mouth. Real big carp. And then there's the bow fins. Hate to keep saying it, but they sure are strong fighting fish. This is a pretty good sized one. It's probably the one of the biggest I've caught out uh, of the bow fans. They've all been relatively nice sized fish. And I'll tell you what, when they take that bait, they take it. This was on a uh, white floating jig head with a chartreuse stinger hook. Two night crawlers. Keep switching it up. It seems like they're biting the natural. I'm just using a plain hook. Single hook on one and then running a stinger like this on the other. These fish aren't even biting. They're just they're so aggressive right now. They're just coming up and taking a bait. That's another nice boat thing. There. What a body. I just want to tell you that this kind of fishing is a seasonal pattern and it takes years to figure out where to be at the right time and I mean, there isn't nothing simpler than, than throwing out a couple night crawlers set your rods down and the bite can just be crazy and incredible that's something that takes years at all kinds of different spots to know the seasonal patterns and where the fish are going to be and when but uh i mean like i've come out and i've caught three different species of fish today i've caught like six fish now and uh just using night crawlers you know a lot of people say why don't you use lures or whatever and i do enjoy using lures but i really enjoy catching fish so if i can come out and throw out some night crawlers and know that i'm going to be successful and once you figure out that pattern, stay on it, keep pounding, and you're going to get more and more fish and bigger and bigger. 